very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the 47th anniversary of its joining the UN as a full member, the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the achievements of Bahrain made under the wise leadership of His Majesty and wished him abundant health and success. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and hailed his efforts and contributions in the Kingdom's development, wishing him abundant health to continue his sincere efforts for the Kingdom's progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the 47th anniversary of its joining the UN as a full member and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the achievements of Bahrain through its comprehensive development march made under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and also paid tribute to the patriotic servicemen who sacrificed their lives in line of duty. He also wished His Majesty abundant health and success. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Crown Prince and hailed his efforts and contributions in the Kingdom's development, wishing him lasting good health to continue his contributions to the nation's progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa on the occasion of the National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih, the 47th anniversary of its joining the UN as a full member, the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Her Royal Highness asserted that during His Majesty the King's prosperous era, the Kingdom has reached advanced levels of development and progress. She also expressed her appreciation and gratitude for His Majesty's continuous care and support for Bahraini women, which has led to the advancement of their participation in all fields, especially in the latest 2018 elections. She added that Bahraini women became a force capable of shaping a bright future for Bahrain. Her Royal Highness extended her deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on the national day wishing him abundant good health and happiness and to the Bahraini people for their progress and prosperity. In a reply cable, His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness and praised her role in the development of Bahraini women. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from leaders of Arab, Islamic and friendly countries marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations and the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. The leaders expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and success to His Majesty and to to Bahrain and its people further development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations and the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. Her Majesty wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and the kingdom for the progress and prosperity. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from President Donald Trump of the United States, marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations and the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations, and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. The President wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness, and the Kingdom for the progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations and good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 47th anniversary of its accession of its um, accession to the UN as a full member and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the king's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister efforts and contributions to the kingdom's development, wishing him lasting good health to continue his contributions to the nation's progress in the prosperous era of His Majesty, wishing Bahrain further growth, glory and stability. Regarding comm Commemoration Day, des designated by His Majesty, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince paid tribute to the patriotic servicemen who sacrificed their lives in line of duty. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable expressing his gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his noble patriotic sentiments and sincere efforts in serving the beloved homeland. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Crown Prince. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of Arab Islamic and friendly countries on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 47th anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. They expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and success to His Royal Highness the Premier and further development and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of Arab Islamic and friendly countries on the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the 47th anniversary of its accession to the UN as a full member and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. They expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and success to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to Bahrain and its people for their development and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's inaugural Dar'iya e Pre held in Riyadh. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pleasure at the opportunity to attend the Formula E's first fixture in Riyadh, noting that the Dar'iya e Pre reflects Saudi Arabia's efforts to promote the Arabian Gulf as a leading destination for sporting events. His Royal Highness noted that as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Adiraya represents a truly unique location to hold a motorsport event and went on to praise Saudi Arabia for its achievements in showcasing the kingdom's heritage to a global audience. He emphasized that the 2018 Adiraya Ipri, which featured the competitive debut of the Gentoo car, reinforces the region's contribution to advancing motorsports. His Royal Highness concluded by noting that Bahrain takes great pride in its long standing contribution to the Formula One car and motorsport as a whole, highlighting in particular the role of Bahrain's F1 stewards who were on the ground providing support to Adiraya Ipri. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, is Hanit Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the people of Bahrain on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's national celebrations, marking the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership 
Kingship in the United Nations and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain is celebrating the National Day this year in conjunction with the start of the first session of the fifth legislative term, which His Majesty the King opened, which reflects the reform approach of His Majesty for political participation and affirms the well-established democratic and national constants adopted by the reform project of His Majesty, which manifested in the large participation in the recent elections. He added that the people of Bahrain look forward to the National Day to renew their loyalty to the country and its king, stressing that this occasion highlights the cultural achievements that have been made to the kingdom during the era of His Majesty the King, which strengthened Bahrain's position on the international arena. His Highness added that the National Day highlights Bahrain's achievements thanks to the efforts of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Bahraini people. The President of Bahrain, Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of the National Day Endurance Championship, which took place under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event took place in the presence of Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa, President of the Endurance committee in brief. The 120 kilometer championship was won by Fahd Al Khatri, while second place went to Uthman Al Awadi. The last podium spot was occupied by UAE's participant Saif Al Mizrui. His Highness Sheikh Nasser phoned the participants prior to the event, encouraging them to produce maximum efforts and show their best performances. In a statement issued post the race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser confirmed that the race was a huge success thanks to the displays showcased by the competitors, congratulating the winners of the race. From his side, His Highness Sheikh Faisal congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the success of the event, underscoring that the race witnessed fierce competition until the very end. He also expressed his gratitude for the participants for their performances. In the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club held the seventh race meeting of the season yesterday at the race course in Rafah Sakhir. It was held for the Cubs of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his sons, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the National Day Cup. Also present at the race were Sheikh Sultan Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Khalifa, Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Ramehi, and horse racing fans. At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the cup of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the National Day Cup from Minister of Information. Information Affairs Ali Ramehi. The cups of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, his sons His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the winners.
Within the framework of the Kingdom of Bahrain's national celebrations marking the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al-Fatah in 1783 and the 47th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne, the Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali al-Khalifa opened the Governorate's Heritage Festival yesterday at the Royal University for Women in the presence of Chairman of Bahrain Basketball Association, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali al-Khalifa. Under Secretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Dr. Nabil Abulfet, and a number of senior officials from the supporting authorities. His Highness affirmed the, governor, the Governorate's keenness to highlight the historical and heritage aspects of the Southern Governorate. His Highness toured the festival, which included classic cars, popular customs, and various Bahraini products. He praised the keenness of the participants to be a part of the festival and support national work. celebrating today for the National Day in Bahrain and in the Southern Governorate we are show the people how culture how a warm of culture that we have in Bahrain especially in the heritage uh, festival so uh, we just want to 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 show up uh, how culture is very important for us especially in these days and uh, congratulations for Bahrain for for everything that she gets it until this time National Day is one of the favorite events for me because we celebrate our home country and the decoration that makes Bahrain feel special. Also, I want to congratulate the leadership of this country. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf, opened the upper bridge of the Elba interchange, which connects Al Istiqlal Street and King Hamad Street in both directions, as part of the project of developing the Elba and Waidrat interchange, which is one of the ministry's largest strategic projects, which is implemented with the support of the Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development within the Gulf Development Program. The opening was attended by a group of representatives of the departments in the Kingdom's governorates and a number of engineers. The minister said that the opening is the second phase of the project which coincides with the kingdom's celebrations of its national day and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne which affirms the development of the kingdom in His Majesty's era. He added that this bridge will transport traffic freely in the direction of the south and north between King Hamad Street and Al Istiqlal Street and includes three paths in each direction. The minister thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for supporting the development of the road network in the Kingdom. He also thanked the Ministry's partners in implementing the project. Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed Ramehi underscored strong fraternal ties binding the GCC countries on the basis of common history, visions and destiny. He pointed out that celebrating Bahrain's national days by more than 10 Gulf radio and television channels, including the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Kuwait and BCFM Rotana FM, through a connection with Bahraini, Bahrain television and radio, reflects solid historic and fraternal relations between the GCC countries and represents an epic of Gulf fulfillment that is cherished by Bahrain. The information minister affirmed Bahrain's respect to all, pointing out that the initiative of the Gulf radio and television channels mirrors continuous fraternal cohesion in all circumstances. He also added that festivities of the Bradley countries are also Bahrain's and distinguished relations between the GCC countries will remain solid and be prudent. He wished Bahrain and the GCC countries continuous joy and further progress and prosperity. The Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia held a reception ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain's national celebrations on the 16th and 17th of December in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al-Fatah in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. The ceremony was attended by the Governor of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bender and a number of their Royal Highness 
Highness and Saudi Princess dignitaries, senior officials, businessmen, journalists, Bahraini citizens residing in Saudi Arabia, as well as a large number of guests. The Governor of Riyadh and the distinguished guests were received upon arrival by the Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, as well as members of the embassy. Sheikh Ahmoud then delivered a speech in which he welcomed His Royal Highness the Governor of Riyadh and their Royal Highnesses, the Princess, and praised the brotherly relations between the two countries and the keenness of both leaderships to strengthen and develop them in various fields. He expressed pleasure in their participation, which stems from the bonds of brotherhood, cooperation, and solidarity that our two brotherly countries share, thanks to the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abd Aziz Al Saud. Sheikh Ahmoud hailed the strong brotherly relations between the two kingdoms, affirming their keenness to further develop their ties in various political, economic, social, developmental, and security fields. The ambassador valued the stances of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince towards Bahrain in the face of various challenges. He also stressed the solidarity of Bahrain with Saudi Arabia against external challenges and interferences that target the internal affairs of the countries of the region. He pointed out that the achievements of Bahrain come as a, as, as a result of the reform approach of His Majesty the King, which is based on democracy and human rights. Concluding the ceremony, the ambassador and attendees extended their congratulations on this occasion to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed bin Khalifa, Al Khalifa, held a reception and luncheon on the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain's national celebrations, marking the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country, founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations, and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. The ceremony was attended by a number of British ministers, British government officials, and members of the House of Commons and Lords, Ambassadors and Diplomats in Britain and a number of businessmen, press and friends of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which shows the long-standing and solid relationships between the two countries. On this occasion, the Ambassador delivered a speech in which he highlighted the relations between the two friendly countries, praising the level of bilateral relations, stressing the mutual desire to continuously promote and develop them in various fields. In his speech, he also referred to the promising and continuous reform and democratic approach in the kingdom and to the historic success of the parliamentary and municipal elections which were held this year and highlighted the participation rate which was 67 percent representing the largest percentage in the history of the kingdom. He also noted the important role played by Bahraini women in the democratic process and their keenness to participate in the parliamentary and municipal elections. He expressed the kingdom's pride in the achievements of government agencies in the field of combating trafficking in persons, making it the first Arab country to be ranked as the first category in the American classification of trafficking in persons. Well, this is a, a chance for us in Britain to reflect on the very length of the relationship. Bahrain is one of our oldest friends, deserves our continuing support, and I'm glad to find the relationship in very good uh, shape. We are developing, as you know, with the uh, compliments of the kingdom, we're developing our base in, in Bahrain. And we stand by Bahrain with joint exercises and so on. And we look forward to developing the relationship, not just in uh, security terms, but of course in commercial and economic terms as well. As Defence Minister, can I just say a huge uh, congratulations to Bahrain in celebrating your National Day. Britain is a true friend of Bahrain and it's uh, wonderful to be here in Lancaster House. And it's only a, uh, a month or so ago that I was at the Manama Dialogue uh, with all my friends again. So I'm now a Defence Minister, I was the Foreign Minister, uh, but I, all my best wishes to all my good friends in Bahrain. You have established your place in the world, there's no doubt. You have established your place amongst the Gulf states and the Gulf nations and the Gulf Corporation Council. Uh, you are a very important ally of the United Kingdom. Uh, and of course, uh, the appointment of the Ombudsman and the work that the British government is doing uh, to support the work of the Ombudsman is very, very important to both the citizens of Bahrain and the United Kingdom.